This video provides an overview of the comment framework developed from the growing success assessment, evaluation, and reporting in Ontario Schools document from 2010. The purpose of the comment framework is to assist teachers in composing and using personalized comments on report cards. As described in the Growing Success document, teachers should strive to use language that parents will understand and should avoid language that simply repeats the wording of the curriculum expectations or the achievement chart. The comments describe in overall terms what students know and can do by focusing on what students have learned. Parents should be provided with personalized, clear, precise, and meaningful feedback which will describe the students' strengths. Teachers will include next steps for improvement to support student learning, both in the classroom and at home. As stated in Growing Success, assessment for the purpose of improving student learning is seen as both assessment for learning and assessment as learning. Assessment for learning involves the ongoing process of gathering and interpreting evidence about student learning for the purpose of determining where students are in their learning, where they need to go, and how to best get there. The information gathered is used by teachers to provide feedback and adjust instruction and by students to focus their learning. Assessment as learning involves the process of developing and supporting student metacognition. Students are actively engaged in this assessment process. That is, they monitor their own learning, they use assessment feedback from teacher, self, and peers to determine next steps, and set individual learning goals. Assessment as learning requires students to have a clear understanding of the learning goals and the success criteria. Assessment of learning is the process of collecting and interpreting evidence for the purpose of summarizing learning at a given point in time to make judgments about the quality of student learning on the basis of established criteria and to assign a value to represent that quality. The information gathered may be used to communicate the student's achievement to parents, other teachers, students themselves, and others. It occurs at or near the end of a cycle of learning. The overall goal of assessment is to improve student learning and to develop independent learners. Assessment for learning and as learning requires that students and teachers share a common understanding of the learning goals and success criteria. Learning goals clearly identify what students are expected to know and be able to do in language that students can readily understand. Teachers develop learning goals based on the curriculum expectations and share them with students at or near the beginning of a cycle of learning. Success criteria describe in specific terms what successful attainment of the learning goals looks like. When planning assessment and instruction, teachers and students collaboratively identify the criteria and evidence that will be used to assess student learning. The comment framework provides a common process for creating comments that reflect the intent of growing success. There are three components in this framework. 1. Write key learning with qualifiers and descriptors developed from a cluster of expectations which focuses on what students have learned. 2. Share specific examples that demonstrate learning by describing significant strengths of the student's work. 3. Communicate next steps to parents and students that will identify strategies for improvement. Teachers may develop and assess multiple learning goals over the course of a reporting period. When determining a comment for the report card, teachers should choose the key learning that best describes the student's level of achievement. To explain the level of achievement in the first component of a comment, teachers personalize the key learning with the most appropriate qualifiers and descriptors. 
teachers develop the success criteria with their students, which directly relate to the identified learning goal. In the second component of the comment, teachers should gather specific personalized evidence from observations, conversations, and products that best demonstrate the student's strengths. In the third component of the comment, teachers communicate next steps that reflect areas of the success criteria that could be improved or haven't been met. These next steps should be connected to the learning goal and be meaningful, clear, and attainable. The comment framework helps us move from comments based on a large number of expectations to comments based on one cluster of expectations. From comments unrelated to learning skills and work habits or curriculum expectations to comments that are directly related. From comments generated from impersonal comment banks to comments reflecting personalized, clear, precise, and meaningful feedback. From comments created with strengths, areas of concern, and next steps to comments that are created with strengths, specific examples, and next steps personalized to the student. And from comments using educational jargon to comments using parent and student friendly language providing specific classroom examples. Additional resources, including a copy of the comment framework and examples of specific comments for various divisions, can be found at ae.mesalondon.ca.